Hey everybody, I'm going to discuss panel loops in ZBrush 4 R5. Now, with regular tools, this uh, would probably take a little while, right? Looks uh, like some type of uh, <clears throat> some crazy sphere with some like uh, padding on it. For the Super Bowl 2013, yeah, right on. Fun. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make this. So let's go back a few steps. Undo history. Nice. Watch how I made it. And yeah. Anyway, here is our regular sphere, right? Uh, 11,000 polygons. Now, open up geometry. And then under the edge loop palette, we're going to work with these three panels. Four panels. This two. Yeah. So, anyway, um, if we turn on polyframe, we've got one poly group, right? And if we control to select, yeah, undo. I don't care. C control, click to select a portion of our mesh, and we choose edge loop masked border. That creates another poly group based on what we chose. So now we've got two poly groups. Now we've got, I don't know, a whole bunch more. Yeah. And then a whole bunch more. And then a whole bunch more. And every time you create poly groups, it changes the colors to show you that there are different poly groups throughout your object, right? And that's nice. You can then. Um, use these individually by selecting the move brush and holding control that highlights just that area and uh, deselects everything else so you can only work with this it was mirrored so I'm it was yeah I don't know uh, I selected some of the back too but um, <clears throat> let's see okay draw deselect move okay control click click no undo click undo click undo control click undo yeah so if you have a big mesh and you wanted to create polygroups really quickly that is an easy way to make them be able to see them and uh, edit them whenever you want to now let's undo a few times or yeah back to the beginning now hold down shift uh, or sorry uh, control shift to deselect or you know hide portions of your object so now we just have the edges selected and click on edge loop a few times what this does is it extrudes just a little bit uh, from your original object so hold down control shift and click outside to see what it does now that's pretty cool because I yeah, you would take a little while to make that otherwise. You'd have to select this and then control clicked and then draw and you oh, okay that that's nice and that's that's close. Okay. But that takes a long time. Um with this new technique that uh Pixelogic has made, you can easily create armor and um different different effects with this uh nice tool. Let's do it again. Oh wait, yeah, <laughs> I, I, wrong move. Okay, so Control Shift to select a portion, and then Edge Loop. One, two, a whole bunch. Yeah. So then Control Shift. Nice. And this is a great way to create uh, a lot of different things very quickly. Control shift, click, 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 click. Okay, nice. Isn't that cool? Fun. I'm really, really liking this a whole bunch. And then, you now it, it's kind of rugged, and you, uh, man, I want it to be smooth, so I'm gonna hold down shift, and ah, uh, that, that kind of works, but I wanted something else. Uh, go to group loops group loops it uh, 
totally increases your poly count, but it also smoothly um, <clears throat> looks at your entire object and it looks at your subgroups and um, makes sure they are smooth and the lines are um, um, good. Now pressing that a few times, this looks a lot more or a lot a lot prettier. Nice. Okay, then undo a few times. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Panel loops is similar and it Oh, I'm sorry. That was the one that totally increases your geometry. Okay, undo, undo, undo. Okay. What panel loops does is it increases the thickness. It wasn't very thick right there, but we can, you know, increase it here, which will make it a whole bunch thicker. That's totally crazy. Um, so let's go back down to real small, and you can polish the effect. Yeah, so that that makes it all polished and extrudes out and everything. And then you can increase the amount of loops that it generates on each poly group, right around the borders. So I really like 25. So it's going to, yeah make them all really nice nice I'm gonna use this um, tool with every project I use it will be a great way to make um, fluid geometry very quickly uh, if this wasn't here how long do you think this would take to make probably quite a while but with uh, ZBrush 4 R5 you can make it really quickly and just to recap let's do it real quick okay brand new sphere control shift click yes okay edge loop a few times control shift fun okay then group loops makes everything smooth and isn't that great? Fun. If anybody likes this video or wants to see more, please subscribe and I will make more on the newest features of ZBrush 4 R5. And yeah.